This is a compilation of modern women who regret feminism. Women need to be held accountable. Feminism has made it normal to constantly blame men for the problems of women. I realized I was using feminism pretty much as a cover-up for how much I despised the no species. In case there is a world war, I'm not a feminist. My job is to stay in the kitchen. I really need someone to tell me if having kids is worth it. Why did you think that we needed to work as much as men? Being an independent woman is fucking overrated. I'm leaving. <sighs> Whoever fought for women to get jobs. Why? Why did we do that? I am so tired. I want to just put my feet up. Feminism is a damn cult with this messed up, man-hating philosophy. It's all about hating men rather than actually giving a damn about gender inequality. Just look at the stats I mentioned before. Women are ditching feminism by the millions. Back in the day, nearly every woman would say they were a feminist. My grandma was all about that second wave movement. Now, if you ask her about feminism, she'll just laugh and say, those angry women, screw them. Grab your popcorn, sit back and enjoy. Oh, I'm so motherfucking tired of working. <sighs> These bitches think I'm supposed to do this shit for 30 more years. Oh Lord, I can't do it. I ain't got it in me. Got the show, take it out. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I didn't ask to be you. Welcome to adulthood and a world of equality. You now have to work to pay for that Birkin bag. No free handouts. Okay, listen up. All the women who consider themselves independent women, right? You've got your own money, you've got your own car, you've got your own hat. Listen, being an independent woman is fucking overrated. I don't want to pay for my own shit. I don't want to have to carry my own shit. I don't want to do that anymore. I'm done. Yesterday, I carried so much fucking heavy flooring, 40 packs, on my own. On my own. A man was there, but he left me to die in the street. And I carried it myself, and I thought, <laughs> this is what I wanted. Smash the patriarchy, but you know what? Leave a crumb. Leave a crumb of it so that I don't ever have to do that shit a fucking again. That's where I'm going for 2021. No more, I'm baby. Chivalry is pretty much dead to me. Feminism killed it. Men no longer hold doors for women. Men no longer help women carry stuff. Well, you all asked for equality, and you've gotten it. I'm not going to help you change your car tire. Same way a fish doesn't need a bicycle, you women don't need us. And guess what? We are totally fine with that. Every time I get a new job, all I think about is getting another job because I'm so unhappy. And I realize that it has nothing to do with the jobs I get. I just don't want to work. I don't want to go 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 to work. Should I call out? But I need the money. I don't want to go to work. I'm going to work. If you don't want to work, then act like a traditional woman. A lot of women say they don't want a traditional man. They say they want to be a housewife. They want all the perks that come with being a traditional woman. But they don't want to act like one. They don't want to cook. They don't want to clean. If you want to be a feminist, do it with your full chest. And if you don't want the feminist life, then be a traditional woman. It's not hard. Men appreciate traditional women. I know I do. <laughs> First reason I'm no longer a feminist is because I realized I was using feminism pretty much as a cover-up for how much I despised the no species. I don't feel that way now, but at the time, I had a lot of bitterness towards men. So I was kind of using feminism as a way to be rebellious. I didn't realize this until I started to observe other women who claimed to be feminists. And I noticed their attitude towards men. And I was like, mm, seems like it's a little bit of bitterness, a little bit of resentment. I don't know if you are really being a feminist for the right reasons. Yes. A lot of feminists are man-haters. Most of them don't even know what feminism is truly about. Feminism already achieved its goal. The rest is bullshit. There's nothing like second wave or third wave feminism. All bullshit. Hello, hello. Just a little psa. In case there is a world war, I'm just reminding you, I'm not a feminist. Fair. 
My job is to stay in the kitchen. I don't go to no battlefield. The only thing I'm battling is a potato kiggle. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't think this is like right for me. I don't want to do it. I want to go home. Like, I can't take the pressure of it. No, you asked for it. Deal with it. I just want to know who started the feminist movement. I just want to know who started it. And why did you think that we both needed to work? Why did you think that we needed to work as much as men? I would have been okay at home. I would have been okay cooking for my husband. I would have been okay with doing that. But because you have the boldness and the confidence to say, I think we should work like men work. Now look at me, doing both. Now look at me, home and being a mom. Thank you. I'm so glad that you did that. This is so fun. Like, where, girl, what are you doing? The board of feminists, where y'all at? Cause I just wanna say, I quit. <laughs> I don't wanna be a part. I don't wanna be a part of the board of feminism. I don't wanna be a part of it and I don't agree with it. And that's just me. I don't wanna do both. At the same time, at that, y'all send help. Just send help my way. Feminist for life. The board is doing a great job. These videos are a highlight of my day. Crazy. Anyone know how I can cancel my membership to the whole feminist movement? Because it's not given what it was supposed to give, so I'm no longer interested. Even the word feminist, what is feminine about me working hard and paying bills? Back then I'm singing independent. I don't know what possessed me to be singing such nonsense. It was the work of the devil. To be wanting equal this and equal that. I demand to be doing demanding things and the woman to be doing damsel in distress. Oh, I don't know what I would do without you. Because me, I need demand. For every little thing I want to be calling my, 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 my. Because who will be reaching the top shelf for me? Who will be killing spiders? Fine, babe like me should be coming and killing spiders. Do I like Zina the warrior princess? Listen, I don't know who brainwashed us. I don't know who started the movement. If it was Susan B. Anthony and the, the, the suffrage rights. But I'm suffering more today than I was yesterday. But please, whoever's in charge, unsubscribe me from the list. Cancel the membership now. She's right. A lot of women are unhappy, more than they were 30 years ago. And it's feminism's fault. Now that you all know the problem, fix it and stop hating men. It's not our fault. It's what you guys fought for. I just don't want to work. No specific reason. I don't want to work. It's not that it's hard. I'm only two years into working my nine to five job and this is awful. So you're telling me I'm having the Sunday scaries every week to dread five days of my life to then be rewarded with a little thrill on Friday, but then be so tired from working that I pass out at like 10 p.m. Live for Saturdays, love them. But really, that is only one full day of fun because Sunday, have a great Sunday morning and then Sunday afternoon rolls around and I have the Sunday scaries and I'm dreading my life for the next five days. I went to college for four years to be stuck in this cycle. No, you're stuck in this cycle forever. You have to keep working and being unhappy. That's the feminist lifestyle. They promised you lies to get money from you. Men and women studying and working means more student debts and more money for the government. Now, you have to work till you die to pay back everything you owe. You women suffer from gynocentrism that you can't open your eyes to see the real truth. Women need to be held accountable. Feminism has made it normal to constantly blame men for the problems of women, when in reality, our own nature and the way we interact with each other accounts for most of our issues. Women sit around and listen to each other bitch about dating, and for some reason, we always wind up siding with each other, don't we? It's never our fault, even if we find ourselves in repeated situations or dating the same type of guy over and over again. Women will stand in solidarity with victims of abuse and then go abuse men on public forums like, are we dating the same guy? And even if you don't post them there, you still stick around for the tea instead of working to end it. Women will cheer on some overweight girl practicing body positivity and then shrug their shoulders when that girl complains that men aren't attracted to her. Women will complain about WNBA players making pennies compared to LeBron James, but never ask themselves why the Kardashians are billionaires or why a reality show about husbands has never been made. All feminists do is tell men that they have to change, which just means they're still dependent on men to solve their problems. Doesn't that defeat your whole point? Start doing some thinking of your own and hold yourselves accountable for one. Women lack accountability, and this mentality has ruined society. It's never the woman's fault. If she cheats on you, it means you didn't make yourself available for her. If she slaps you, it means you provoked her. Slap her back, you'll have your hands behind your back in no time. The man is always at fault. 
That's why men aren't even trying anymore. I am feeling like I want to die and that this is complete torture and I don't know what I did to somebody to make me sit here and do this and I just don't think it's nice. Thanks a lot, you idiot. Thanks a lot, Rachel. Thanks a lot. I'm not a feminist. I can see men and I don't immediately feel threatened. I'm not a feminist. And then people ask me if I'm actually a woman. <laughs> I'm not a feminist. I can wear dresses and feel pretty. I'm not a feminist. Thank you. I'm not a feminist. I don't hate children. I'm not a feminist. I would watch this video and I wouldn't be offended. I'm not a feminist. I can actually cook. That's all for today on Manhood. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons, and also click on the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop a new video. If you find value in my videos, you can show your support through PayPal or Cash App. The links are in the description. See you next time. Cheers.